Seamless. I think I'm getting better at that. <laughs> I might I might be wrong. Yeah, Black Dragons. I, I, I sometimes have um, nights like that where, where you just can't stop thinking and just can't quiet the mind and get to that restful state. It's not good. I hope you can get some sleep, though. It's like Password says, it's very important. Very important. Just like a good cup of tea. Which is what I am just brewing now. Uh, we're going to get some bosses done today, I think. Yesterday, I managed to kill, like, quite a few. Um, I did the Necromancer, the full, full the Prophet guy, and the two Prophet guys, um, and two Necromancers. So I, get, I guess we'll do the Necromancer Lord. I just need to remember what exactly the Necromancer did. He summoned people, I think. Maybe. And where is he? Banking. Was he up here? No. Here? No. Or maybe I can't do him yet. Maybe I've not discovered him. Gibbering Prophet. We could do the eight pounder guy. He was somewhere. There. There we go. Cool. <clears throat> this is the first time you've seen this game. So, Darkest Dungeon is a, uh, well, kind of an indie game. So, it looks kind of simple, but it's it's a very deep game. It, it has so much depth to it. Yet, you could probably describe the gameplay almost similar to Pokemon, if you've ever played that. So, uh, up here are my heroes. So, you, um, you pick your heroes and you basically go out onto dungeons which is what these map this is this is the map of dungeons that we can do with a certain quest to complete and uh you pick the heroes based on what's what's good synergistically so they all have different move sets they can all achieve certain things um to then achieve the um kill or do whatever the quest is now the the premise of the game is that you are um, a member of a family who's returned after somebody's died. You've returned to a village to inherit um, a house. Upon revisiting the house, um, you found that, like, whoever, uh, whatever relative it was, found some sort of mystical portal in the basement. And it's opened a whole hell of a lot of demons and things that have infected the town. So your mission is to take your heroes out and rid the town full of um, demons. Uh, this is your, like, base of operations where you can kind of do certain things. Um, like, upgrade your combat skills, hire new champions, relieve stress. On every dungeon, you take... Obviously, you take health damage, but you also take stress. Stress can be seen as these little white bars here. If you get to a certain amount of stress, you have one of a few things can happen. One of those things that can happen is that your characters can just die. If your characters here die, they're permanently dead. Um, and you just have to hire new ones. Like I said, there's a lot to it. Um... It's probably a good thing just to show you uh, a dungeon to start with. Um, and I was going to kill this brigand eight pounder. But you can see here, uh, where did demons in the village come from? There's like a, like I said, there's like a portal of some sort in the basement of, of our, our house that we've inherited, which is up here. Um, but where they come from, I don't know. Space, probably. I don't know. There's all sorts of different things that are around that we can kill. It's a great, it's a fantastic game. If you've not played Darkest Dungeon, I would definitely recommend it. Oh, good. We've got one of those already. Uh, can I just ban? There we go. 
There we go. Sorry about that. Little bot. Okay, so this is a boss dungeon. So it means at the end, we'll be killing a brig brigand eight pounder. But we can only take level one characters. Uh, so I want to take anybody that's level one or two. I think two is the maximum. So we'll get Randstand. We'll get Duart. We'll get Meta Hook for the healing. And maybe Shade. Oh, that's a good that's a good team, I think. Okay. Uh so let's just maybe have a look at our party and see if we can upgrade them in any way. Here we go. Now we're just giving them extra... Uh, uh, basically making their weapons better. Maybe a story about demons that to be told further. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. I don't know. Um, the game is about 100 hours long. And I'm only 50 hours in. It is in incredibly deep. Uh, I don't want to spend too much because uh, we are kind of low on gold. And you need gold in order to... Provision your party. Oh, we didn't do trinkets. I need to do trinkets. Uh, so yeah, your this is like your character sheet is here. And you can see the abilities that you can use is here. The preferred pr position of what uh, you take four characters out every every time. Quirks is another thing where your character can take certain kind of positive and negative attributes that don't affect the game too much but it can for example this guy's got claustrophobia which is a, a severe fear of enclosed places what that do i don't know i don't know he's also got uh five percent crit and 15 percent extra damage received so it, it can get quite complex and you can also have trinkets that do certain things so for example randstand i want to kind of make him a tank so, we'll give him heavy boots. We'll give him protection, which will increase his health, hopefully. Here we go. So, we've got extra protection, extra health. So, for Shade, he will be our main damage dealer. So, I want him to have... Hmm... hmm. Eight percent crit, more speed, less virtue, and less healing received. Okay, let's take that. That's gonna be difficult to heal him, but I don't think we'll need it. So Meta Hut's gonna be our main healer. I can I I am very low on like I, I have basically zero healing trinkets. Oh cool. 25% less stress if has crimson curse. We'll get that and we'll get the grape thing, the garlic. And let's get that in, yeah. Okay. Cool. So now we've got our trinkets. We've got our trinkets. We've got ourselves uh, equipped with skills and we've buffed up our weapons. We just need to provision ourselves with certain objects for the dungeon. So we need, we'll need. we need blood. We'll need torches. Let's take that. Let's take two keys, two spades, and all the food. And let's go. Simple folk. Are by their nature loquacious. 
and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. Right. The war machine is close. So, this is your main kind of dungeon screen. Uh, let's give them... Oh, okay. This is the map. Each tile is, represents a room, basically. And the little tiles in between is you traveling to that room. When you travel, you can either experience many things like battles, uh, traps, items you can find. And in every room, you can either have a quest object, you can have a boss, you can have enemies, you can have um, multiple things. But the objective for us will be to get to this room here. It's this room here because the boss usually spawns at the furthest away. So I'm going to travel all the way around there. It's going to be long. Let's go. I have to look out for traps. And this thing at the top is our torch. So uh, you need to make sure that you have torches and you also use torches. Torches will make um, traversing the dungeon a lot easier. Okay. So we've got our first enemy. And they're surprised. That means we get to go first. So let's hew the first two. I think we'll do a judgment. As the theme First one falls, dead. a faint hope blossoms. He should be dead. There, there we go. Gently. This is how a life is taken. You again? Oh, come on, we missed. He healed. Uh... Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And dodge again. There we go. Push this advantage give them no quarter and then you get loot for killing the dudes like i say it's kind of like pokemon it's a good analogy okay nothing in this room so let's carry on now i want to make sure now, I just thought that I haven't got any stress healing, so um, I want to make sure that just before we get to the final room, before we get to the boss, it'll probably be a good idea to um, camp. Camping is a mechanic where you can kind of heal up a little bit. Hey, Fairby, how are you? A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Oh, hunger check. And he's also craving. Twenty-five gold. Need more gold. After this boss, I'll probably have to do a few easy missions to get some more gold. Um, let's get rid of these mushroom guys. Uh-oh. 
Protection is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, feel good about that. Uh, Judge? Vigor is restored. Vigor. I don't know why that de-stressed my falconer at the back. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay. Let's get going. Fairby, have you decided which game you want next? I downloaded Resident Evil 4 today. So I don't, I don't know which one you want to do. Your, po your points after all. A handsome reward for a task well performed. We've got five herbs. I don't know what we're doing here. In Radiance, may we find victory. In Radiance, may we find 